Gillingham's winner came just four minutes from time. Robert Taylor with his first for the club since his half a million pound move from Brentford. With half time looming, the last thing Wickham needed was to concede a corner. They did. John Hodge took it. And Robert Taylor bundled it home to put Gill's two in front at the break. Only Taylor's second goal of the season since his half million pound transfer deal from Brentford. And he would snatch a second to silence his critics 25 minutes into the second half. A free kick from 25 yards, Wickham caught napping and Taylor gently chipped the ball over the wall. But it wasn't until the end of the match that the scoreline changed. Robert Taylor coming good in the last minute of injury time. Gillingham, who continued to close the gap on the Division 2 leaders, rightly delighted with a 1-0 victory over Fulham. Asaba set up the second for Robert Taylor. That was Taylor's fifth league goal for the Jills. Bob Taylor robbing York defender Tony Barris and then beating Bobby Mims. But the Jills soon found their way again and on the half hour, Carla Saba flicked the ball on to Robert Taylor who curled it beautifully past the keeper. So all that stands between Gillingham and Wembley now is the semi-final of the auto windscreen shield. But the fun didn't stop there. Gillingham soon drew the scores level again Robert Taylor doing well to find space supplying the finish. Striker Robert Taylor had hit 11 goals going into the clash with Burnley. That wasn't enough for manager Tony Pulis. He started to put matters right after just 14 minutes with that spectacular 30-yard shot. Taylor's second came a quarter of an hour later. This time he finished with a neat flick from close range after good work from Nicky Southall. Five minutes before the break, the travelling Jills fans were beginning to sense that they were watching something a little special when Taylor once again was on target, this time making the most of a defensive error. Despite a hat-trick of goals, the half-million-pound striker hadn't finished his work in the first 45 minutes. Patterson winning a penalty two minutes before the break. Up stepped Robert Taylor to hit his and Gillingham's fourth. Manager Tony Pulis feeling pretty happy with his centre forward. Early in the second half, Taylor became the first Gillingham player to score five in the league away from Priestfield, as the Kent side made the rest of the division sit up and take notice. But justice was done on the final minute when that man Taylor headed the Gillingham equaliser for his 16th goal of the season. It crowned an outstanding week for Taylor. Gillingham won, Preston won. And that's all it was, just 12 minutes from time. Robert Taylor, with this driving run, ensured a comfortable victory, 4-1, and the Jills march on. Robert Taylor took advantage of a defensive mistake to give the Jills the lead. More defensive blunders let in Andy Hesenthaler to set up a thunderous volley from Taylor. But just before the end of the match, Bob Taylor made sure that the Jills' hopes were kept very much alive with this vital equaliser. The fans now looking forward to Wednesday. More space now for Carlos Saba. Great touch. Robert Taylor here has room. Tries from range. He scored. Robert Taylor has scored. But just 10 minutes later, Taylor, who handed in and withdrew a transfer request in the space of a week, was put through by Thompson and broke the deadlock. Taylor, full of confidence and typical finishing from last term's Player of the Year. And in true Taylor style, he nets his second goal. But just three minutes later and in injury time, Robert Taylor nodding in a valuable equaliser and may have thought it wasn't going in. The Stoke defence, though, were stunned. It ended Stoke 1, Gillingham 1, and still only three points from five games. Gillingham fans have been waiting for that elusive first three points of the season. With Carlos Saba out and came new signing on loan, Manny Omenini, who started with a bang. A great forward pass to Robert Taylor, and he pounced on the ball, driving in the opener. Gillingham continued to dominate, and when Junior Lewis was brought down by Nethercott, they made the most of a free kick. Robert Taylor stepped up to take it and drilled the shot straight through the wall. But this was to be Bob Taylor's match. He opened his account on the 65th minute. And despite suffering from chronic tendonitis, he scored his second just two minutes later. But even half fit, a well-worked free kick saw Taylor power the ball home to give him a hat-trick in five minutes, the fastest in the league this season. So a well-deserved home win, Gillingham 5, Wrexham 1. No wonder they're calling him the hat-trick man. Gillingham's Robert Taylor did it again last night. Three goals in half an hour at Priestfield to sink Bristol City. 
It was his second hat-trick in successive matches, bringing his total to 11 for the season in 14 games. Each time he scores, so his transfer value goes up. Manchester City were watching him again last night, and they will need a million plus if that to lure him away from Priestfield. But Gillingham replied through the vision of Paul Smith and Robert Taylor made his fourth goal of the week. It's now a case, though, of will he stay or will he go? Wells County 1, Gillingham 1. Hesenthaler's free kick found Taylor, who powerfully had his own number three. And then he showed his tenacity in the six-yard box as he scored his 14th league goal of the season. So, how did Gillingham keep him at the club? Then, just before half-time, top scorer Bob Taylor made it 2-0. He's a fantastic finisher. I thought his first goal showed the pace he's got. People think he's not quick, uh, but people never catch him from the halfway line. And, uh, and he used his body so well, uh, and I thought it was a really, really good finish. Just two minutes into the second half, Taylor did it again with his 17th goal of the season. Little wonder Manchester City recently upped their offer to 1.2 million. Jill soon found their feet, though. Andy Thompson hit the post. Robert Taylor, who else, slotted home the rebound.